most of us all want to live a better life. We want to be better to ourselves and to others. But we're also different. There's not just one plan that fits everybody. Some of us, in order to soothe our soul, to give us a level of overcoming our self-doubts, some need affirmations. Some need visualization practices to tolerate other people. It's a big deal for people to overcome, especially when there's so many huge differences between so many of us. Some people are so different that you know, they grow tired by reading a book. They can't do it, or they don't want to do it. I say they can't do it. They tell themselves they can't do it. Some people just learn better by watching documentaries. Some people don't like documentaries. Some people cannot sit through this video, for example, which is all fine. We're all different. Good. But one thing is really important that I think you'll agree. Whatever we tell ourselves, that is what we become. You can see this with every successful pe person and most uh, failures. We have self-doubt that overcomes us, that continues to strangle and just drag us down. If we tell ourselves we can't, or if we tell ourselves that we're bad at something, well, you can't improve it. Great example is uh, that I've been responsible for this for myself is I'm not good with remembering names. And I used to reinforce that by telling myself, ah, I'm just not good with names. And I would apologize to somebody else. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't remember your name. I'm just not good with names. What a horrible practice. That is a bad, bad thing to do. Some people want to set goals and, and do them. Some people want to be more spiritually in tune. They, they want to connect to the universe and and have an intellectual base to build upon. And some people have, just everybody has their own thing. But it starts with the internal conversations in ourself. If we're not reinforcing ourself, who is gonna reinforce us? If we are not sending ourselves positive information, not lying. We must know our, our limitations, which are very few. Like I can't jump out of the window and, and fly around the, the sanctuary and farm here. <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, so there are limits to what uh, the human can do. But the possibilities are infinite. We can instantly make the uh, world a better place by doing just a few simple things. That's a whole nother video. The purpose of this is affirmations versus visualizations and whatever happens to work for you. We have to remind ourselves, and that's the purpose of this video is to remind ourselves in the work that we do here in our spiritual growth and being better people there are constant reminders that we have to give ourselves. And that is, remove certain words from your vocabulary. It's not that I can't, is I am unable to yet. I am striving to get this talent that I will have, that I am consciously making efforts to do. I want to be a whatever it is, a doctor. Well, I'm going to put in the time and make the sacrifices to do that particular thing. Whatever the thing is, we can do it. There, the language that we use to internalize, we can tell ourselves we hate being around uh, people for the holidays. We can say, oh God, I hate going to dinner with these coworkers. Or there's some things you just don't have to do. You know, you can create open space if it is starting to become a toxic situation. So it is the relationship that, and the dialogue that you have with yourself. Is this certain situation 
helping me and advancing my life in the direction that I want to go, or are these things dragging me down? And in the language I am using, causing me to uh, create more self-doubt and to water all of those gardens inside of my soul uh, with poison, or am I giving it the proper nutrition and clean, pure water to allow that to blossom up? It's something that we need to recognize in our daily lives is that in order to be better humans, we have to have the dialogue that is correct. When we have those self-doubts, when we start thinking, oh no, I cannot handle this problem. I cannot handle this stress. Well, we're telling ourselves, I can't handle the stress. So you're reinforcing that idea. Instead of thinking, I can find a solution. I can make this relationship better. I do see where I've made mistakes in showing my affections, love, or my aggravations. I've made mistakes in how I've expressed those instead of, ah, this relationship is doomed. So let's be very cognizant of what we say to ourselves and how it affects our actions in life moving forward. It is vital to making the world a better place and it all starts with one person at a time that is each of us having to totally get into the routine and habit of watching the words we say out loud and watching the words that we say to ourselves so that we can truly make ourselves and this world a much better place. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video.